working out and finding and I mean that in a physical sense and a metaphorical sense, like work it working out, working out. Like if you really think about that saying, working out, life is working out. I am working out. It's a trip how Philly was not waking up on any weekend or any day before 7 a.m. to go work out. If I did, no, I didn't. I really didn't. <laughs> But fast forward to this time this year at 40 years old at my big age, I'm waking up early mornings on the weekends to work out. And I want to, and I know I need to. It's no longer, ugh, I need to. It's, yeah, I need to. And oh my God, I want to. Like, I missed class last week and I was devastated. I, I don't even know who I'm becoming, but I love it. And when I say devastated, I mean, I took to the Bible. <laughs> it's not funny talking, you know, saying I had to take to the Bible. It's funny that it's funny saying it out loud, but it's true. Like I really took to the Bible because I was struggling just with the way it all unfolded. But now that I'm here, I went to class. I feel so much better, but I want to talk about the in-between from missing class to going to class and falling in love with the whole process again and working out and finding good people and community that aren't pressuring you. There's no judgment. It's all love. And that's where I'm at. And I think also seeing results. I'm a results person. You know, I, I love a quick dopamine hit, all that stuff. But there's something about once I've committed to something, and if you know me, you know, I'm all in. And it takes a lot for me to commit to anything. So the fact that I've made it this far, I'm just grateful to God. <laughs> and last week when I said I went, I mean, yeah, last week when I said I went to the Bible, I meant it. And that's not something that I was doing regularly before last week. It really wasn't. I was cleaning out my nephew's room uh, here in my house. And I found he had like a stack of Bibles, like his Bibles from school and another one and I was like oh he doesn't need all these so I took one because I knew this year I was going to start reading the bible I just knew it when I didn't put a date I just was like I'm gonna let it find me and when I'm ready I'm ready and it's so funny how God works because after I was done cleaning I came into my room where I had put the bible I opened it up and it was my bible from high school from the age and the grade in which my nephew is today, 15 years old. I'm pretty sure I put it in there because I just wasn't ready for it at the time. But now that I found it again, it's just, it's in this week alone. Like I'm about to go do my morning routine um, after this video, but I just had to come on here and talk about just working out and finding and I mean that in a physical sense and a metaphorical sense, like work it working out, working out. Like if you really think about that saying, working out, life is working out. I am working out. It's a trip how when you put in the effort, which we all are, we're all doing our best. Give yourself grace. We are all doing our best. But when you put yourself first, and you do it for you and no one else, not to please your friends, not to please the class, not to please the instructor, nobody but you, not even to please for these videos, but to please myself. And once I learned that, you know, God first, me next, help others after. And sometimes that rotates, obviously, like help others before you help yourself. But I had to learn what helping myself felt like first, what I enjoy what my things are, you know, the, what my worlds are where before I can just continue to go into anyone else's worlds. What are my worlds? And finally, I have found something that I enjoy doing. <laughs> I'm willing to pay the, the Lyft drivers to drive me. It's, it's opening up my mind to being more disciplined in other areas of my life because it's not about being the best 
person in the gym, the strongest, the fastest. It's like, who are you going to become from those actions? And those are the lessons that I'm seeking or at least working towards, whether they're revealed to me or not, or maybe other people see it, see the change in me, or I'm able to impact someone else positively. So either way, I'm pumped. I just got back from my workout. As you can tell, I, I'm just yapping along, but ain't no shame in my game and I'm pumped. Um, and I might start adding a second day in the week. You know, I just have to, I just have to gradually find my footing. You know what I mean? And I talked about, you know, me this time last year, I was not taking any class. I wasn't waking up early. I was making the effort though. I was going for walks. I would go play basketball, you know, baby steps. That's how I operate. I was, you know, I went to the bleachers a couple of times, but once that kind of fell off, I fell off. And I know life has its ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys, but I feel like I've gotten some good momentum going and I just want to keep at it regardless of, you know, if I run into some obstacles like I did last week, but I went to God first. I went to God first. I just went within and I'm so grateful that I did because it made a world of a difference and I opened up that Bible as scary and as intimidating as it is and uh, even daunting it can seem like or whatever your thoughts are on the Bible or God and you know I'm not one to say I'm this religion or you have to follow these rules or these commandments I'm just doing me and you do you that's it and we can meet somewhere in the middle but for me this is the journey that I'm on and I'm just so grateful it's all working out. <laughs> but stay tuned. I'm just going to be talking to the camera. I'm just going to press record. Um, if you're still watching, I'm wearing this pink bandana for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It was uh, a theme today for class is to wear pink. I realized I don't have pink in my repertoire. So I might just start mixing up things because, you know, you girl, it's all black all day. So... I might have to start mixing up the colors in my wardrobe just so I can liven things up, you know, add some sauce to my step. Uh, you know, I love a good yellow. Yellow is fun. I've always loved orange. But for the most part, I'm, I'm usually in black and white. So stay tuned for the wardrobe. I've, I've talked about that too here. Stay, stay tuned for the wardrobe uh, upgrade and yeah. So if you're, if there are any areas in your life where you, you know, needed to work out, go within, go with God. As my Nana used to say, go with God and return the same. And truly my new motto is trust God, trust myself, trust the process. And now trust the abundance. So with all that said, thank you for tuning in. It's your girl Lil's. I don't even do an intro in the beginning. I have to remember to do that. But it's your girl, Lils. This is Fire Life because life is a blessing. So go have some fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.